Hello everyone. My name is Yosuke Kobayashi from Nakashima Propeller. Thank you for your interest in our presentation. This video provides an introduction of a paper submitted to International Conference Marine 2021. The title is Effects of Proper Pitch and Number of Blades on Energy Saving of an Echo Cap. National Maritime Research Institute has cooperated on this study. I would appreciate if you could watch this video till the end. First, Introduction With IMO's strategy, GHG reductions are required for new basing ships and also existing ships, and the various regulations such as EEDI, EEXI, and CAI. These regulations are mandatory for ocean-going ships and become more tightening gradually. Also, fuel cost increases a vital issue. To comply with such environmental regulations and decrease fuel oil consumption, there are growing demands for improving propulsion efficiency of ships. Propeller hub cap with fins HWF, is an energy saving device. It's easily installed and replaced on ships in comparison with the other ESDs. Nakashima Propeller has developed a HWF named EcoCap. Energy saving effect of fin cap generally depends on its own shape, proper geometry, wake into the proper plane, and the lens number. The main objective of this study is to investigate how proper geometries affect the energy saving of the echo cap based on flow fields measurement behind the propellers. Next, model test setup. Four propeller models of different design in pitch distribution, P1, root rotated, P2, constant, and P3, tip rotated, and different in number of blades four and five blades were used. The all propellers have the same diameter, the same expand area ratio, and the hub ratio. Models of a normal cap without fins and an echo cap were used for reverse POT. POT means proper open water test. Normal POT and reverse POT are different arrangement. Normal POT is usually carried out to confirm proper open water characteristics in uniform flow. However, Havotex effect cannot be confirmed due to existence of the shaft of the POT port behind the propeller. Reverse POT can confirm the Havotex effects, though the propeller is slightly affected by wake field of POT board. In this study, Normal POT and reverse POT were carried out. Stereoscopic particle image velocimetry SPAV, measurements were carried out in reverse POT condition to confirm the flow field behind the propellers. SPAV can measure three components velocities at a certain plane by two CMOS cameras and double pass radar. POTs and SPAV measurements were carried out at a towing tank at NMRI. Parameters and equations are shown as these. I will skip in details, but explain a few points. Kemp's Reynolds number during the test was set as 6 times 10 to the power of 5. The rate of change from normal cap to echo cap of the proper open water characteristics during reverse POT can be obtained as delta KT, delta KQ, and delta eta O. SPAB can measure flow velocity fields of a certain YZ plane and vorticity of X component can be obtained as omega X. Next, model test results. 
Normal POT results are shown as these figures. P1 is black line, P2 is red, P3 is blue, and P4 is green line. We compare the eta O at a representative design point, kt over j squared equals to 1.14 as right figure. This is the comparison results. Compared with P1, P2 was 1% higher, P3 was 3.1% lower, and P4 was 3% higher eta O. Reverse POT results are shown as the rate of change from normal cap to echo cap. This is echo cap effect. We compare the delta eta O at the representative design point. Energy saving effects of the echo cap were 4.7% for P1, 3.1% for P2, 0% for P3, and 1.7% for P4. These results lead to that less number of rays or root loaded pitch is effective in improvement by the echo cap. However, it is still debatable whether the improvement difference in number of braids comes from color length or number of braids. Including the echo cap effect, the ranking of the proper open water efficiency changed from the pure proper open water efficiency without the echo cap. Compared with P1, P2 was 0.5% lower and P3 was 7.4% lower. P4 was almost the same proper efficiency as P1. The results showed the importance of designing propellers and echo cap considering interaction between components. I'm going to explain SPAB measurement results now. These figures show the velocity distribution of P1 with normal cap and with echo cap, behind 10% of the proper diameter from the proper plane. We can see strong rotational flow near the center of normal cap as hub vortex. Hub vortex causes energy loss, but it was weakened by the echo cap. These figures show the vorticity distribution of the same propeller and the same plane as previous slide. We can also see the higher vorticity was weakened by the echo cap. So, echo cap can suppress hub vortex and improve propulsion efficiency. These figures show the velocity distribution of four propellers at the same plane as previous page. Upper row is normal cap and lower row is echo cap. The propeller are arranged in columns. Comparing the propellers with normal cap. Less number of blades or root rooted pitch strengthen the harbor decks. Except for P3, we can see that the echo cap weakened the hub vortex. From the vorticity distributions, we can also see that the propellers which has less number of blades or root loaded pitch distribution strengthens the hub vortex behind the normal cap. The intensity of the hub vortex was different during the normal cap between the propellers, but almost to the same level regardless of the propellers during the echo cap. The results suggest that potential energy saving amount by the echo cap largely depends on the intensity of the hub vortex during the normal cap. Finally, conclusions. As a conclusion, I'd like to summarize the major points as these. Thank you for your attention.